Everybody, if you haven't figured it out already, I am at Legends Ranch, just outside of Bitely, Michigan. And uh, this is Robert, and Robert runs a place, and this is Randy, he's been here uh, about as long as I've been coming here. I've been coming up here for 20 years now, and Randy's been up here as long as I've been up here. Randy is the head guide. So anyway, uh, the weather is absolutely lousy. It is the third week of October. The leaves are beautiful, and the deer are on the move because the rut is right around the corner. Let's go on inside, I'll show you the place. Thank you. Okay, so you're gonna come, and when you arrive, you're gonna find your name on a little placard up here. This is like my little cubby. And of course, over here, we got uh, Val Gammerman. Val is gonna be, he's with Pyramid Air. And let's see, oh, looky here. We got Austin Rohr is gonna be here. Come with me. All right, so you arrive, you're gonna come into the uh, big dining hall here, and this is pretty cool. They've got, of course, mounts all over the place. And it overlooks this beautiful pond that right now, the weather, like I said, is not real nice. Got a cozy fireplace, and then uh, they're gonna take my mug shot. That's the first thing they do. One, two, three. Okay. Perfect. So, so, What's gonna happen is, is every single guest that comes here, and even a, a non-hunting guest, okay, a wife, a spouse, whatever, son, daughter, they're gonna take your picture and they're gonna put it on a board over there with your name on it. And so what happens is there's a bunch of strangers that you'll be hunting with in here when you show up, but when you leave, their family, uh-oh, <laughs> leave me alone. Anyway, their family and what happens is you know everybody's name real quick because their mug shot's up there with yours. My name is Robert Sergi. I am the director here at Legends Ranch in Bitely, Michigan. What does Legends Ranch specialize in? The experience of the hunt. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we're gonna need waiters to get out there and tell you, but that's pretty cool right there. And everything beyond the hunt, from sitting around the campfire, to celebrating, there. to just being around with your family and friends and just making those memories together. You know, I've been shooting air guns now for about five years. I mean, seriously shooting some real serious air guns. My gosh, thank you. Man, thank you. Val Gammerman, who's with Pyramid Air. Of course, they sponsor our show. Val's never hunted before, but he decided after seeing the videos we've done here at Legends, he wanted to come here and try his luck on his very first deer hunt. When you wind up hunting with an air gun, you have to have air. Val brought the air. Let's go shoot. Okie doke, so I've got a target down there at 35 yards. Uh, this thing is all gassed up, good to go. And I am gonna take a shot and just See what it does. Oh, sweet. I think we're good to go. Now it's time for viewer feedback. Brought to you by Protect the Harvest, Protect the Hunt. Okay, I just got this this morning off of Facebook Messenger. And obviously, they follow us on Facebook and know that we're here at Legends uh, from a viewer by the name of Gerald. I'm thinking of booking a hunt at Legends Ranch, and I know you've been there a lot. When would you recommend would be the best time and why? All right, Gerald, this is gonna probably be a long drawn out answer, but I wanna tell you, first off at Legends Ranch, they hunt from September through December. Okay, and that gives hunters an opportunity to hunt all different methods and all different seasons, really. Uh, I've been here in September, October, November, and December, and I love it all, and you can't go wrong. And December, the cool thing about December is December's got a lot of snowfall on the ground most of the time. And so when it's cold and there's a lot of snow on the ground, they're back on the food sources, so you get to see a lot of deer. So you can't go wrong. I think legends anytime from September through December, you can't go wrong. Gerald, that's a good question. If you've got any questions for me, head on over to our website and hit the connect with Keith tab, or shoot, go over to the Facebook and send me a message right there.
My name is Troy Harrison and I'm a guide here at Legends Ranch. And I'm really excited to be guiding Keith this week. And he usually brings it right down to the wire. I'm hoping to have a successful hunt right off the start. So this stand, if you look out there, it's wide open and be a perfect spot for a rival hunter. But we've got some woods behind us. The wind is really good. And what we're hoping for is that these deer to come out of the bedding area and come to this feeding area out in front of us and get within, say, 50 yards or less for a shot. So we had a little walk in here in the drizzle. And uh, of course, you better have your scope covers in the event that you do that, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see. Well, let's see what happens. I'm watching the play. I like the actors in this play. And Troy is like going, most guys just go ahead and kill one, but I'm not there to kill one, okay? I'm there to take in the entire experience. So we're seeing a lot of good bucks, a lot of good shot opportunities. Um, I'm watching Keith's reaction every time one comes in, and I'm seeing absolutely no movement. He's not getting excited. He's staying cool, calm, and collective, and it's driving me nuts. All right, so this is the Wildlife Center here at Legends Ranch, and Robert back here is uh, introducing some guests to this. They've never been here before, so anyway, this is a pretty amazing place. If you get up to this part of Michigan, whether you're a hunter or not, you really owe it to yourself to come to the Wildlife Center because they do so much stuff in here about conservation and passing the good word on to people that don't hunt about how important hunting is. Take a look at this place. Everywhere I go, I know that Lucas products are gonna keep my firearms working tip-top shape. All right, so it has been drizzly, nasty weather. And one thing that I highly recommend is taking care of your firearms. If you want your firearms to take care of you and the hunt, then you're gonna take care of your firearms and do it properly. So what I'll wind up doing is come in and I just take some CLP and I'll wind up making sure and clean, lubricate, and protect all the metal parts of my firearm. And on a day like today, you know, we're sitting in the stand and you can actually, we can cut to some video where you can actually see the moisture on the gun. I mean, it's ridiculous. And to not take just two, three minutes to clean it up and put it up before you finish the day and do so with some CLP, you're making a mistake. So this is day three, and finally the weather's giving us a break. We're in the same spot we've been sitting because Reconyx has shown a lot of really good mature bucks in here. But they've been coming in when we've been gone, so with the weather change, hopefully they'll be moving this morning. Oh, 
that's cool. I can't say this. This is gonna be the prettiest video we've ever gotten. Oh, he's coming this way. He's got a lot of antler. But from what I can tell, he's not very old. He's big though. lunch and char luck this afternoon you shot my deer <laughs> golly look at that you shot my deer oh. i couldn't pass it up the only thing is it's just an addiction i can't stop coming put it there thank you sir good job i just keep on coming back i love it <laughs> Now, here's the ticket. All right, the deer have been coming through this area of the field a lot. And what I've got, I've got a Magnum Kiwik up here and I'm going to saturate it with special golden estrus. And big bucks can't resist. Good. <laughs> we had a pretty slow morning. Uh, nice, we had some deer come within range. They just weren't uh, what we were looking for. So the weatherman has called for rain pretty much all day long. Mm. Oh, look who showed up. Look at the rain coming down on him. Good gosh. He's taking out all those sexual aggressions on that branch. <laughs> Look at him running in. Nice. Pretty video. Very nice. I like it. That's a hell of a deer right there. All right, so we're sitting in the stand. I mean, the weather is perfect. I mean, it couldn't get any better. It's crisp and cool and no rain, thank goodness. And the deer, I have never had a sit like this before. Come on, big boy. You can just tell looking at him, he's young. Boy, the bucks are moving around now, though. That's good. That's a cool looking deer. Look how young he is. Wow. Look at this real dark buck right here, Troy. Okay, and so I'm sitting there, and every once in a while I look back at Troy, and Troy's like, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to say, because it's like most hunters, I guess, would reach for their gun. I'm sitting there and say, I'm trying to pick up on what Keith's thinking when he's looking at these deer. One thing I do when I get excited is I grab my weapon. And I want to know why is Keith not grabbing the gun? There must be somebody coming through this grass. That's a nice one. <laughs> All of a sudden, when Mr. Big walks in from the left part of the stage, and I grab the rifle, I think he, Troy had like a sense of relief, like, thank God. He's gonna shoot one, maybe. Now that's an older deer. Okay. As soon as he picks his head up. All right. Got him. Got him. Watch him down. Watch him down. Holy smokes. 
Down he goes. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? That's beautiful. Holy smokes. He disappeared in that tall grass. This has been the best, absolutely the best deer hunt I've ever had at Legends Ranch, and that's saying something. All right, so here's what he looks like up close and personal. We wound up, uh, there was so much blood coming down that trail that it looked yes, like he had circled back. Painted. <laughs> yeah, he, he was spewing. And, uh, you know, this buck, take a look at the beams on him. I mean, he's got lots of tines and really long beams. It's amazing. The reason why I shot this deer, because in my opinion, this is this what turned my crank. He was old. Okay, when he came walking in, it was immediate. You, you could tell he was old. Yep. And, and, and you could tell by, the, look at his neck. I mean, his neck is just massive, you know, and they're, they're just, I mean, I can smell him, just mm -hmm. now coming into pre-rut, and it's, uh, what is it, third week of October. So anyway, it is, a, it is a phenomenal time to hunt here, and there's not a bad time, I'll put it that way. And so, Troy, first time to hunt with you. Yeah. Thank and thank you, you. I appreciate it. Yeah, and, it was a uh, pleasure. So, did it kind of test your patience? Tested my patience. You put it to the wire, you have a lot of patience. I do. I have a lot of patience, patience. yeah. And the, the, the thing about it is, the reason why I have patience is because I'm all about shooting the right animal and getting the most out of the experience. So, it's absolutely phenomenal. Folks, if y'all want more information on coming to the Legends Ranch, you can go online. Every single person that comes to Legends Ranch wants to come back, and sometimes they come back like me yep. for decades. I mean, they, they are in love with this place. There's something that's magical about it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. First class everything. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Got any questions or comments and you watching online, go ahead and post them below. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. We got to get this big guy back to camp and there's going to be a celebration. I had the best night I have ever had ever at Legends Ranch, and I want to thank you. Traditions are something that uh, I think are really important. It brings back history, it builds relationships. There's a lot of good things that come from traditions, and there's a lot of traditions here at Legends Ranch. Some are old traditions, and some are new traditions. And so this is a new tradition. Tell everybody about it. So this is the eternal flame, and it represents the spirit of the deer. It's just very spiritual, and it's just the little things that we do. That is cool. And they do lots of little things that are incredible. Oh, 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 let's do it. Yes! <laughs> How's that for cool? Awesome. You're awesome, man. Yes. You are yeah. awesome. Okay, let's go put it in a spot. So the best part about coming to Legends Ranch is everything is coming and experiencing 24 hours a day, experiencing what they have to offer. All right, so take a look at this. The eternal flame, each one represents a deer taken on this hunt. And that's a new tradition, but now we're gonna go do an old tradition. But the worst part about coming to Legends Ranch, and listen to this, is leaving. Okay, and as we close out today's show, I wanna tell you, it's like, ugh, I hate leaving this place. I mean, look at the beauty. Look at the people. So I wanna propose a toast to old friends and new friends. Thank y'all. Thank you. Cheers. 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 And, and normally, this would be the end of the show. But look at here. I got to show you something. <laughs> look at here. You're not going to believe this. You talk about two special deer. Piebalds, a buck and a doe. It can't get any better than the Legends Ranch. So this will be the close of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy. Conroe, Texas.